Hi everyone, it is Trent here. I have received some requests asking about agarwood bead testing underwater. Now, first of all, uh, as you are aware, wood and water do not mix. If you drop an agarwood bracelet or an agarwood mala un underwater or submerge, if you submerge them underwater, uh, it will damage. Its common name is called water damage because the water get into the bit and when it dry, it's the, the it make the bits expand and it crack. So please don't do that. If it is a wood chip, that is okay because eventually you know you will uh, you're going to burn it anyway. So small crack and wood chip doesn't matter. But bracelet and mala, you are going to wear it. You are going to keep it, so you don't want water damage happen. So today, um, I would like to show you a different way to to know if the uh, bracelet or your mala can be sunken underwater without submerged it underwater uh, by using the formula, uh, the density formula. Okay, so the formula is D equal M divided by V as D is density, M is mass, which, you know, the weight, you can just put the item on the scale and you can get this figure. Now with volume, uh, I will explain a little bit because uh, with bracelet or mala, the uh, shape of the bits is a sphere shape. So there is a formula to calculate the volume it is uh, V equals 4 third pi times the radius cube. Um, you can use this formula to calculate the volume. And once you get the uh, mass, which is the weight of the items, you divide it by the volume and you will get the density. Now, it could be any numbers from you know 0 0.1 to you know 2 to 3 or whatever the figure is depends on on the calculation that uh, that you calculate but um, what you need to do is you to, to compare that result with water now water density is 0 0.997 some people round it up to 1 but uh, for the accuracy of the uh, of this test Please use 0 0.997. Now, if you compare the result to uh, the water density, if it's smaller than the water density, the item will float. If it's larger than the water density, the item will sink. So, uh, shall we start? I will use the amber bracelet as an example in this case. Now, I got a measure rulers to measure it and as you can see the dimensions for this bracelet or for the bit dimension is um, 15 uh, millimeters so uh, I have to convert it to radius by divided by 2 so 15 millimeter is 1.5 centimeters the radius should be 0 0.75 centimeters and by applying the formula, I got a volume of 1.767, okay? Now, the next step is to weight the item on the scale. And um, because this is the whole bracelet, I have to make an assumption here. Now, the assumption is this, if every, uh, if if um, because the whole bracelet made from the same material so i assume if one bit sink every th uh, every bit will sink but uh, if one bit floats so all will be floated uh, that's my assumption however in reality because this is the na natural products sometimes the density of each bit can be uh, different uh, but for the sake of uh, simplicity, this is what I will do. So the whole bracelet is 29 gram, right? Um, there are 14 bits in this bracelet. So uh, 29 divided by 14, uh, each bit will uh, 
weight around 2.071 grams and um, I will use this uh, as M which is the mass and I plug it in the formula D equal M divided by V I got uh, a number 1.172 now the water density is um, 0 0.997 and the density of this pressure is 1.1 which is greater than water so it sinks now I hope it makes sense uh, the other four bracelet will be the same um, the result uh, I will show you in the video so you get a good idea but if you have questions let me know uh, I believe this uh, very simple um, I can email you the uh, formula if you want to so if you use this formula you can test any bracelet uh, as long as it is sphere shape you will know if it sinks or float before you put it in in the water hi um this is amber and it has the density of 1.17 which is greater than water so in theory um if i drop this it will sink so let's have a look so yes it sink okay so we move to the next object So you see, this is the, um, a bracelet that uh, claim agar wood, but clearly it is not. Um, in the market, many people sell this as a sinking agar wood. It is definitely not agar wood, but um, to decide it sinks or not, I have compiled the calculation and uh, in the spreadsheet I show you before that. So in this case, this bracelet has a density of 0 0.999 now 0 0.999 now that's a very interesting because uh, in in um, most of the case uh, the water density showing a 0 0.997 is the water density now most textbooks show the water density is one so if you use one um, it means this president will float However, the exact number is 0 0.997, which is less than this bracelet. This bracelet is uh, the density is 0 0.999. So let me drop this. Um, I think it will just sink, but a little bit float because of the its number is very close. So let's see what happened. Interesting one. Oh, okay. You can see it's. Um, let me remove this so you see it's the density again is 0 0.999 uh, you can see it's a half sink and half float so maybe because of the the bits is um, you know it's not um, equally uh, not does not have the same density so this is on average um, 0 0.999 this is the average and of course um, you can see it's like a half sink and half float so interesting case okay now the next one is the boya it's called crocodile aga wood i'll show you this so uh, this is a very popular uh, wood in indonesia uh, crocodile aga wood boya so the density of this one is 1.245 so 1.245 is larger than the water density, 0 0.0997. So in theory, it will sink. Let's see. And yes, it sinks like a rock. Okay. The next one is cultivated agar wood. Now this one is uh, pretty light. And, um, you know, uh, sorry about the light. But um, you see the resin there is okay the smell is pretty good despite the white color uh, I know you can't smell it but um, even the light color the smell is pretty decent okay the density of this is only 0.5 so it just float you see it's float so again you know the density formula work even before you drop uh, the object into the water okay now next one 
would be the wild aged sandalwood. This is like a uh, very old sandalwood, and it's um, weight for 34 gram. Uh, it's 16 mil, so the density is 1.13. It's uh, definitely sink because 1.13 is larger than 0 0.997, larger than the water density. Let's have a look. Okay, sink like a rock. So there you go. So you know how to test the object, how it sinks and how it floats. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to learn more, let me know. And, um, you know, the formula will be displayed um, in the description. Okay, see you soon.